I talked was about the Internet of Toys, which are um, toys um, equipped with sensors and connected to the Internet uh, that can um, uh, relate on a one-to-one -one basis with children. And they can also be controlled uh, and programmed via apps on smartphones and tablets. Um, so the opportunities is that they are more engaging, more interactive, and uh, they promote uh, personalized learning. But there are a lot of risks, especially privacy risks, and I'm especially concerned with the uh, with their long-term social and, and political consequences. My talk was about the work we're doing on the city region uh, deal, which is about data-driven innovation. But we're looking at the skills that people will need uh, to be able to have data jobs within the economy in the future. So the work that I'm involved in is about working with children in schools, and we want children to be able to understand what happens to the data which they generate, and which companies hold the data, and what the companies do with it, and what the children's rights are. Um, but we also want them to have the, the skills so that they're able to understand and interpret data, so things like reading graphs, basic statistics, knowing a bit about computer programming as well. So my talk was about the way in which neuroscience is beginning to develop new kinds of neurotechnologies which might be used to interact with uh, the actual brains of young people to be able to um, detect signals from the learning brain and maybe even stimulate the brain to perform in new uh, and different improved ways. One significant issue of the development of neurotechnologies is related to ethical frameworks. So there's a real lack of ethical frameworks in relation to how uh, neural data might be gathered from children, how that might be used, how it might be stored, whether other organisations will be able to make use of that data. We as yet simply don't know what some of the ethical implications are emerging from the development of new neurotechnologies for use with children in particular. I think in order to move forward we need to develop new interdisciplinary um, collaborations work between ethicists, educators, psychologists, neuroscientists and social scientists who are able to collectively make sense of what neurotechnologies are and what they're doing and in order to be able to address their implications.